Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm gonna give you a video today that can change your life. Listen, I don't care if it's 10 years from now, this video will be relevant to every salesperson in the country. Becoming a one call closer is the difference in making 100,000 a year and making 300,000 a year. This video will change your life. But listen, before I get into the one call closer on how to do it, I wanna go over a couple things with you guys. Can I please ask you to help me with a few things? Three things right here. Number one, like the video. Take a second. Go down to the bottom, hit me a like button. Number two, comment when you're done. If you love the video, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Either way, I got your back. My goal, my goal is to create and build the top salespeople in the country. Guys, shoot me a comment. That's all I ask for. Number three, share it. Share this video with your friends so I can help with the YouTube algorithm and so I can help as many people as possible. I just ask those three things and that, li that last part, share this with four or five friends that sell in this business. All right, guys, let's get into it. The one call close. Let me explain to you what it is. It's just like it sounds. It's picking up the phone. It's closing somebody in one call. What that means is not going back and forth. This is what I see. People have always had a problem negotiating in person, okay? So I do things like the Master Closer Seminar. I teach you how to close anybody, anytime, anywhere, and not only close them, but close them for all the money. If you hate objections in person, imagine them on the phone. Well, obviously we're in the middle of coronavirus at the time that this is made, so guess what? This video will work for the next 10 years, but let's talk about some things that are unique to this time at this moment. Right now we're doing things like delivery. We're doing like curbside pickup, right? Where people are coming in and we're having to work all these numbers out over the phone. Well, guess what? If you weren't great at negotiating face to face, do you think you're gonna be able to kill it right now on the phone? No ways. You're gonna get crushed. People fear things when they don't fully understand them. So what my goal is this, it's not the value that I have, it's the value that I add in your life. So I would like to take a moment and I would like to teach you how to do a one call close and whether you do what I'm teaching you during this entire video or you just take bits and pieces of it and use it into what you're doing now, the fact that I can help you, that's all I care about, okay? And by the way, just so I can get into this, if anybody is in my membership, look, here's my website, theelliotgroupnow.com. If you go to theelliotgroupnow.com, Elite Coaching Mastermind Membership is sitting on the front of the page. We have been going over this in the Elite Mastermind Membership for the last two weeks. We do live role playing every Monday live. By the way, if you can't make it to the live one, that's not what the membership's about. You go and watch the recording on the membership page anytime. We've been role playing on the one call closer, okay? And how to do it, how to become deadly at it. Let me explain why. When this deal opens up, think about it. Me and my wife, we used to go to Sam's, right? And we used to go like order and then we would go pick it up and then we would take it home. And we thought that that was cool, right? Like you didn't have to go through the whole store. You could order it online, just go pick it up. Now, Sam's brings it to us. Now, let me ask you this. When this coronavirus is over, are we even going to go to Sam's anymore and pick up our food? No, we're gonna have it delivered for the rest of our life. This coronavirus will change many things for the rest of our life. So, you will have to be deadly on the phone. Watch every second of this video. And the purpose of me telling you about the Mastermind membership is that it's only $39 a month and we do a live training every single week. And last week we had over three or 400 people log in and I did a live role playing with them on this. Ring, 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 ring. We go back and forth and I teach you how to become deadly at closing. I challenge you, if you want to become one of the best salespeople in the country, go to the Elite Group now, go to the Elite Coaching Mastermind, it's on the main page. It's 39 bucks a month, buy it, guess what? If you don't want to do it again, don't do it, but if you do that, you'll want to pay me a thousand bucks for the stuff that you'll learn and you get four free recordings or, or four free live sessions a month that we all do together and it's insane. But that is what we're working on in the membership right now is how to be become a one call closer. Um, so with that being said, I wanna talk about the five steps that I'm gonna take you through. Number one, isolation. Right here, I want you guys to write this down. This would be a very good time 
as I'm going through the video, if you want to actually like get really good at becoming a one call closer, do me a favor, get something to write with, get a pen, get a piece of paper. And I want you to write down these five things. I'm going to walk you through them. Okay. So we're going to kind of go through this nice and smooth together. So I won't move fast. I know I like to talk quick, but I'll slow down and I'm going to move through this with you because be becoming deadly on the phone. This video is probably one of the most important videos to me that I could help you guys with. Why? Because I have people every day telling me, Hey man, you know, so I got this guy who wants to buy this car, but guess what? He wants numbers. He ain't going to come in until he gets the numbers or he ain't going to let the vehicle get delivered out until you get the numbers. So one, you pass it off to your manager, right? Which means you give away your own gross and you don't control your own money. Or two, you can raise your hand and say, Hey, I want to close my own deals. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to teach you how to do it right here and how not to fear it anymore and feel confident in doing it. So number one, the, the first thing we're going to do with the customer is we're going to call what's called isolation. Number two, it's going to be prepare. Number three, it's going to be delivery. Okay. Number four, and I don't mean deliver the vehicle. I mean the delivery that we give the customer as we're presenting it to them. Okay. And then, which I'll explain that we go through it. And number five, what's going to be the close. So what do we do? Well, we start out here and we move to here. You guys see my funnel, right? That is the funnel that I will keep the customer in the entire time on the telephone. So let's do this. I'm going to trade out this black marker here for this blue one. And let's say, okay, um, you sell new, you sell used. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Let's say you're uh, at a Ford store. Okay. We're going to give a scenario and then I'm going to give some numbers that are a lot higher than where the customer wants to be. And obviously I need you to become a professional at delivering bad news. No matter how many incentives are out on the market right now, if somebody's contacting you about purchasing a car, whether it's today or later down the road, it really doesn't matter. And take everything that I say today with training and try to utilize it into um, your life and your store where you sell. Okay. And, and listen, let, let me just skip to this for two seconds. If you have a question, you guys have my cell phone. Okay. My cell phone is 918-210-0254. You guys can text me, ask me any objection. After you watch this video, you're like, Andy, Hey, I don't sell new Fords. Uh, I sell used or I sell this. What about this? Dude, ask me, let me help you. I want to tell you an easy way to, to get help from me anytime. One by texting me 918-210-0254 or two, join me on my Facebook group. I am building the largest sales Facebook training group in the nation and it's free. It costs you nothing. All you have to do is go to your Facebook browser right now and just type in Andy Elliott. That's two L's, two T's car sales nation, Andy Elliott car sales nation. T type that into the browser. Boom. Hit go. You're in. And then guess what? You can ask a question in the group anytime. I don't care. Okay. I want to create, and I want to have all of the salespeople in the world. I want to create the top salespeople in the country. So you can text me anytime. I'd love for you to join me on my Facebook group too, by the way. Um, I give away free training. There's tons of gold nuggets we drop constantly. Um, join me. It's free. It costs you nothing. And I'd love to see you there. So isolation, prepare, delivery, consequence, and close. Let's say you work at a new Ford store, okay? So let's say we have a Ford F-150, okay? And let's say right now Ford um, maybe has an offer of, I don't know, 84 months at 0%, okay? We're just gonna, I'm just gonna make a point, all right? So this guy calls, he's got great credit. He's like, hey dude, I want that 84 months at 0%. I see that deal. And he's looking like a, I don't know, we'll just say a new F-150. Well, he calls on this new F-150 and by the way, he's got a 2018 right now. His 2018 has 68,000 miles on it. And the guy's paying five fifty a month, right? That looks like a truck payment. Guy's paying five fifty a month, right? And the guy says, "Hey, man, with all the specials going on, I'm on the phone with him, right?" Guy's like, "Hey, with all the specials going on, Andy, if you could keep me closer around the same payment I have now, I would love to do business with you." So we go through the process, we get the credit, we do the stuff, right? And when I say one call close, one call close could be me closing him on an appointment to come into the store for the first time. But since we're in an era right now where we're doing curbside pickup and delivering, I want to talk specifically about in this video, delivering numbers over the phone and negotiating them over the phone. And how do you do it and deliver bad news to a customer, which means the news they don't want to hear. 
Do you think I'm about to tell this guy that his payment's going to be five fifty a month? Man, that ain't going to happen, dude. You already know what's coming, okay? The payment's going to be $100, $150 higher. You're going to call the guy back, and guess what's going to happen? He's going to say, let me think about it, and I'll get back with you. Thank you for your time. And that is not a one-call close. That is a hope that he responds back to you, calls you back, and then now you're blowing him up saying, hey, is there anything else I need to do? Um, you know, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I did this? Because we don't know how else uh, to, to handle it. I'm going to teach you how to handle it, okay? So number one, we've got this uh, 2018 model, 68,000 miles. Guy's paying 550 a month. Great credit guy, okay? Wants to buy the new F-150, right? Whether it's got all the bells and whistles and all that, I really don't care. This is just a scenario for purposes. The payment, let's say it's going to be, I don't know, let's say 700 a month, okay? So it's going to be 150 bucks higher. And you're gonna call this guy. Well, so first of all, so I'm gonna start with the phone call. Hey, ring, ring. Hey, Mr. Johnson, how you doing? This is Andy down at ABC Motors. We just spoke a minute ago. Um, I wanted to call you back and go over all the figures with you. Um, so that way we can get the green light, get this okay. Number one, get it shipped out to you. Or number two, have you do the curbside pickup, whatever's best for you. Whatever you guys do in your store, just, just take that for where it is. All right, number one, I'm gonna say, Mr. Johnson, it's very important. Most of the information that I'm about to go over with you, listen to me, isolation, step one, start writing. Listen, Mr. Johnson, most of the information that I'm about to start going over with you is stuff that I normally go over with the customer in person, okay? Obviously, due to everything that's going on in the world, that isn't happening. Can you please do me a favor? Can you go to an area or a place where you'll have no distraction and you can have, and I can have all your complete attention? Can you do that right now? Or would it be better for me to call you back in maybe 10 or 15 minutes? What's best? What did I just do? Now, I just didn't try to call the guy and say, hey, hey, how you doing? This is Andy. Listen, ABC, I've got those numbers for you. And the guy's like, okay, cool. What are they? Just so you know, the guy's sitting at home on his couch with his wife and his kids, right? Or he's in his car or he's having a conversation with a buddy and he's distracted. You are about to deliver bad news to somebody who's distracted. Do you think you're going to close that person? Absolutely not. You have a 1% chance. Listen, you want the odds to play in your favor? Hey, Mr. Johnson, do me a favor. Normally, this is information that I go over in front of somebody because they're here with me, right? So as I go through full disclosure, okay, can you please go to a place where you're in complete isolation or a place where you know you don't have any distractions going on so I can make sure that you understand it, right? Is that, is that okay? Can you do that right now? He said, yeah, yeah, I can do that right now. Give me one second. You know what you're doing? You're taking control of the customer, number one, but number two, you're allowing the customer to give you his full attention. That's important, okay? Never try to close somebody distracted, all right? Imagine trying to close somebody in person while they're playing a game on their cell phone. You think that's gonna happen? Never. Get their full attention. Now, number, number, number one, isolation. We're done with it. Now that you fully understand what that means, let's go to number two. What's prepare mean? Prepare means this. Hey, Mr. Johnson, and by the way, when I go over full disclosure with you, obviously, again, like I said, it's really important that I always have done this in person. Um, would you mind getting a pen and a piece of paper? Could you get something to write things down with? That way you understand it clearly, and at the end, we can make a choice. We can make a decision. Is that okay? Can you grab something to write with? What did I do? I prepared. Listen, if you have ever followed me and you have ever listened to any of my closing negotiations or anything, I have always said that salespeople sell verbally standing. But in, in a seated position while negotiating, everything is written. Listen, here's the law. The law is this. 30% of what's not written, you'll retain. 90% of what's written, you'll retain. Do you want your customer at the end of this phone call to close or do you want them to not close? If you want them to close, they need to remember 90% of everything you're delivering to them right now. All of the great bullet points you give them, man, all the great pros of why they need to trade, maybe be some reasons why, what would hurt them if they didn't do it now, what they could be missing out on. If you just talk to them about this and they're not writing anything down, guys, I'm just gonna tell you, you are not gonna close them. You're gonna sit there at the end and you know what they're gonna remember? 
about the last 30 seconds of your conversation. And that last 30 seconds of your conversation will be the way that they respond to yes or no. Listen, I've got a planned presentation that I'm about to roll out. I've already had this conversation in my head before I picked up the phone. I know exactly where I'm going. I'm prepared for objections. I'm prepared to close the customer. And I'm gonna give him the call to action here in a minute on what he needs to do to do business with me right now. So guess what? As I'm going to give him the delivery, I need to make sure that he does what? Is in a place he can pay attention, they have a pen and paper, and then I go through what? My delivery process. So I'll do this. I'll say, hey, Mr. Johnson, so check this out. Remember I said in a seated position, everything is written. I wanna to talk to you for a second. I'm gonna kinda of walk you through this. So on the left side of the piece of paper, could you do me a favor? I want you to write down your F-150, your 2018, and I want you to put 68K miles to it. That is gonna be the truck that you're gonna be replacing, okay? I'm gonna be paying that off today. I can wait while you go ahead and write. All I need you to put down is 2018 or 20, 2018 uh, F-150, 68,000 miles, and that I'm paying it off, okay? And by the way, Mr. Johnson, what was the interest rate that you paid on that truck? I know you got great credit, but what was the interest rate that you paid on that truck when you purchased it? Um, Andy, I paid 4%. Do me a favor, will you write that down underneath it? 4%. Also, underneath that, how many more years do you have left to pay on that truck? Um, I've got about four and a half years. Okay, four and a half years. Do me a favor, write that down, that's important, okay? And then also underneath that, because it's important, these are things that I'm used to doing in person, and since I'm not there with you, I wanna walk through this with you. You are currently out of warranty on your vehicle, is that correct? Awesome, write no warranty. Because there's gonna be some things you're getting with this new truck, and I wanna make sure I disclose everything it is that you're going to be getting so, you, getting so you can see the full benefit, okay? Now, with that being said, this customer is writing all this down while he's talking to you. Hey, dude, I'm a great person to do business with on the phone. I'm very likable. People buy from people that remind them of their friends. I can, you can tell that I'm smiling through the phone as I'm going through this with you. And guess what? I'm a professional. I'm not a car salesman. I'm an advisor and I'm an investor. And if I talk to people right, guess what? They'll do whatever you ask. You guys have no idea. People are at home right now, and when you call them and you're going over all the figures on the phone, they'd be happy to talk to your professional if you talk to them this way, okay? Now, at the end of the day, after that, I would like you to write down the 550 payment, okay? Now, listen, underneath that, we're going to be paying that off today, and today, you're going to be purchasing the new F-150, and I want you to write this down underneath it. Zero percent, okay? When's the last time that you've purchased a vehicle and you didn't have to pay any interest? And the guy says, uh, well, never, or maybe it was 10 years ago. And you can say, yeah, 10 years ago was the last time they had a recession that they offered interest that low. So it shows people make the best deals during times like this. Now, here's one of the things that I do wanna share with you, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Because of everything that's going on, do you think the banks want to loan free money? No, they don't. They actually want to charge you money. Just like on your last car you bought, right? You paid 4%. Why? Because it was the best going rate on the market and you got great credit, but you still paid the 4%. The banks still want their money. They want to charge you 4% again, but guess what? Because of what their offer is and available today, you can get it at 0%. They're saying this offer is probably going to be good for, I don't know, a couple more days, a week or whatever. But here's what I'll tell you. I caught wind of this this morning that they could yank this financing at 0% off the shelf at any time. Listen to me. Mr. Customer, I caught wind this morning that the finance companies aren't happy about giving away 0%. They could yank this 0% away at any time. Doesn't matter the end date they say is there. They can change that end date anytime. They can just come out and say, yeah, you know what, we're ending it now. I've seen them do it before. It won't be the first time, it won't be the last time. With that being said, here's what I'll tell you. As long as I have a contract in place, guess what? You're gold. You don't have anything to worry about. We have a dated contract, okay? With that being said, this is something we wanna move on quick and we wanna make sure that we get you that interest-free loan. All right, now check this out. My delivery, have I given them payments yet? No. Have I given them anything yet? No. But listen to my delivery. I'm setting the customer up to get in a position to close.
Can the cell be closed before it's opened? Absolutely not. You know the problem with most salespeople? They try to close a cell and it's never even been opened yet. If you think it's hard to open a cell with a customer in front of you, try and doing one over the phone. If you just want to throw numbers out to people and rely on hope and chances for them to say yes and buy it, that's fine. You just keep doing that, okay? My money is very, very important to me, and your money is very, very important to me. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to listen to everything that I'm saying. I want you to practice it. And by the way, repetition is the mother of skill. If you don't practice this, it won't work. That's why I would like everybody to join the Mastermind membership, role play with me on a weekly basis. We're covering this for the next couple weeks. Ring, 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 ring. Why grind it down? Even if you don't raise your hand to become one of the people that I role play with, you can listen to other people role play with me, okay? Just hearing it, listening to the back and forth and the way that we overcome and work through things, every single obstacle, it's like the hot seat, okay? It just shows you, man, that right now, this, learning how to be a one-call closer, will change your life. You will have the unfair advantage. Everybody is setting a reset right now. This market's gonna open back up in 30 days, and when it does, are you gonna be ready? Those phones are gonna be ringing off the hook. Are you gonna be ready to do the one-call close? Close them on the phone, close them on the appointment, it doesn't matter. When you get this down, you'll be lethal. You follow the same system every single time. Now watch this, let's go and finish through the delivery. Now Mr. Customer, check this out. I know you said you want to be around the same payment, okay? But obviously going to a more expensive vehicle, paying off your vehicle that's out of warranty, I want to tell you this. On this new car, you have a full warranty. Do me a favor, can you write that down for me? Under my new car over there, brand new F-150, 0%. Scarcity, could be gone tomorrow on the free money. I want you to write full warranty. Now I'm gonna go over benefits and features and dealer benefits. I'm gonna start naming all the stuff off that they get. They're wanting the numbers, they're not gonna get them yet. Not until I have them primed and ready to understand. When somebody wants something more than they want, the, the money that they have in their pocket, they spend it. You want to remind them before they give you the yes while they're spending their money. Trust me, one of the things that we do out of sight, out of mind, what do you think happened when you get off the phone with them? You think that they're jacked up, staying on high at the top of the roller coaster, just screaming to buy? Or do you think they're like, yeah, if the deal's good enough, we'll take it? That's what their mind is. Now you're pulling them back up the roller coaster, okay? And you gotta do this. This is called being a closer, guys. Not an order taker, not a tour guide. You wanna be an order taker and just give out numbers? This isn't for you, turn the video off. You wanna be a closer? This is how to be a one call closer. One time, knock it out. There's no calling back. I'm gonna hash this sucker out right now on this piece of paper with him in his place and me on the phone. Why? Because that's how business people do it, okay? And guess what? Your customers would love to do business with you this way. Now, Mr. Customer, with that full warranty, all the dealer benefits, everything that I have, um, and everything that I go through, I'm gonna ask a simple question, right? I'm gonna say now, with your new vehicle, your payment's gonna be 700 a month, okay? Now, let's say Ford has um, a payment option of, of six months, no payments, right? And I say, sir, so listen, what happens is, you right now have 90 days, no payments, okay? So, what's your payment on your old car? And the guy says, well, right now my payment's Andy 550 on my old car. I'm gonna say, do me a favor, write that down, write down the 550. Okay, now you're not gonna have a payment here for 90 days, that's three months, okay? Plus, we're gonna make the first three months payments through Ford, because right now Ford is making the first three months payments. So I would say, hey, we're making the first three months payments. So guess what's gonna happen? Normally, if you didn't buy my new car today, if you didn't, you would continue to pay a 550 payment for another six months on a truck that's out of warranty. I'm not the best at math, but guess what? You know what that is? That's $3,300 that you would spend out of your pocket. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take all the money that you would have had to pay in payments on this new truck, and I want you to put that money in the bank. I want you to keep it, save it, spend it on something else. It doesn't matter. Your new truck, you'll have your first payment in six months from now. Your payment's going to be $700 a month. Now look. I know that's 150 higher than you want to be in, but I'm going to tell you this. The national average, what it costs to maintain a truck that's currently out of warranty is about, what, $1,500 a year. 
If I take $1,500 a year and divide it by 12 months in a year, that's roughly about $130 bucks a month in a small maintenance payment. The fact is you got a smaller monthly payment on your new truck, right, on your old truck, but you're also going to have to pay to fix and maintain and repair stuff when it breaks. I'm going to tell you, you're probably up around the $700 payment anyways on your old truck. Maybe not just from the payment you're paying the bank, but what you're paying the service station and the bank. On your new truck, all you're going to have to focus on is just one payment. I call it an ownership payment. Guess what? You'll pay 700 bucks a month. You don't have to worry about any maintenance on it. You got X, Y, and Z full coverage. So if anything breaks, it's paid for. Abracadabra, it's almost the same budget you had on your old truck. And by the way, if you took that $3,300 that you were saving in payments, guess what? How does that set life? And lastly, I didn't even mention this. If you were to look at an amortization schedule of your old truck, would you agree when you take a loan, Mr. Customer, in the beginning of that loan, the car doesn't immediately get paid off, the banks start pushing their interest to the front of the loan and they start taking their money first, right? That's what interest is, right? The banks get money for doing the loan. I want you to do this. Take an amortization screen on your brand new truck and take it out over the term of the loan and tell me who is getting 100% of every payment to go to 100% of the balance of the truck. Are you doing that now on your old truck and will you ever have the ability to do that again in life on a new one? Probably not. And they could change this and take this off the table any time. So watch what I did. I delivered and then I sold consequences. Consequences, what would happen if he didn't trade and then what would happen if he did trade? What would happen if he said no? And then what would happen if he said yes? I haven't even had him have the ability to say no yet. Why? Because I'm not gonna let him. I, I am in charge of this sell. I am the person responsible for my buyer. It's called buyer management, okay? But before you have buyer management, you have to have seller management. You know who the seller is? We are. What is the seller gonna do? Isolate, prepare, deliver, set up consequences. And if he says no and he has objections, I'll just overcome it. And guess what? If you want to go into the in-depth, hardcore objection overcoming, come here to the mastermind, guys. We role play it freaking hard. And by the way, you can join right now and go back over the last couple weeks and see all the recording videos that are on there and see everything that you missed, okay? So whether, whatever time you're watching this video, whether it's live time tonight, or whether this video was made a year ago and you're watching it in advance, jump in and you can see the last year's whole trainings, okay? With that being said, let's move into the close. The close, Mr. Customer, with all that being said, we would like to pay your vehicle off today so that you don't pay any more interest on it, okay? Secondly, if you can come to the store and we can do a curbside pickup, it would go like X, Y, Z, or this is what we need to do. This is the call to action. Take a picture of your driver's license, your insurance, and send that to me right now so I can make sure I spell your name right on the contract and I got everything right, and then we'll have the vehicle delivered at this time. Could you do me a favor? Because this is a contract, and obviously it's important because they could pull this 0%, they could pull this 0% off the table at any time, can you go out to your car and take a picture of the odometer and send it to me? Because I want to make sure I have the exact odometer statement on your vehicle when we're paying it off. And then I set up the time and then I go for the close. By the way, some of you guys right now are like, Andy, I don't sell new Fords. Andy, we don't have 0%. Andy, we don't have payments. What do you have? What do you have? What, where are you at? What do you have going on? Text me. Go to Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation right now. Okay, join the group, shoot me a text to the group, tell me what it is, where you're at, um, where you would need help on the phone. I'll help you, let me answer it, and I can tailor build it for you. And also, by the way, join the membership. For the next couple weeks, role play with this hard. With this being said, guys, remember this, I'm asking you to please share this video with a few friends. Please comment below, guys, if you felt like you've gotten value out of this video, that's all I care about, okay? This is a free video. It's costed you nothing. Um, you do have some sweat equity in it because you've given up some of your time, which by the way, I'm grateful for you for giving your time to watching my training. I appreciate you. Remember, if you were to ask me, what is my goal? What's Andy Elliott's goal? In five years, I want to take over the entire auto industry. What does that mean? That means this. 
I have to create the best salespeople in the country, the best managers in the country, and I have to help dealerships go to the next level. How do I make that happen? I make it happen by doing what? Making sure that you guys make more money than you ever made in your life, you guys build your skill set to whole new levels, and guess what? We have new training that works today, and we push out outdated training that doesn't work. I stay up to date, new in age, and I'm in dealerships every single week when I fly out, other than the coronavirus, which we've all taken a break for a second. But it's eating me alive, and I'm ready to get back out there and crush it with you. I love your families. I love you guys. I pray for you all the time. I hope everybody's doing great. It's Easter weekend, so it's obviously Holy Week. So God bless you and all your families. And listen. I just want to tell you guys, stay positive, stay focused, okay? I'm here for you. Please join me at this group now. And by the way, have a blessed day. Share this video. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon.